okay guys uh, in this video tutorial I'm going to talk about the types of rotation by flagella for bacteria it's kind of very unique topic that I'm going to talk about because people may talk about a uh, structure of flagella and chemotaxis also but people generally do not talk about uh, how they actually rotate using flagella now actually the flagella rotation is possible due to remember those L ring M ring P ring and all these rings are there which is having a basal body and also rotor so stator state there and rotor helps them to rotate now flagella can help a bacteria to move in different orientation via different processes and in this case we are going to see two different types of flagella that can be present in a bacterial cell for example peritricus flagella that is number more than one uh, number of flagella present in different regions from different regions in a bacteria it can be uh, at a particular site it can be from different sites uh, completely surrounding a bacterial cell on the other hand we can see the polar flagella which is only present from one pole of a bacterial cell either left right and whatever this different side so if you look at the peritricus type of flagella the movement or rotation by peritricus flagella is different than the polar flagella because the peritricus flagella actually help the cell to go for the tumbling movement right it also helps them to grow for normal bundle movement but it can also go for tumbling so bundle movement as well as tumble movement both of them are possible for peritricus flagella and if you look at the bundle movement that means all of those flagella will work together like a bundle of flagella to rotate uh, its uh, themselves at a particular direction at the same direction remember all of the flagella working like a bundle rotating at same direction either clockwise or counterclockwise generally they they rotate in the counterclockwise direction as you can see here so all of them are rotating in the counterclockwise direction like a bundle as single unit and as a result this bacteria can move from one side to another side one side to another side so either this side or this side clockwise or counterclockwise they can move now in this case they are going to counterclockwise but in this case they are moving remember clockwise direction they are moving right so in either way they can migrate and move and due to this movement you can see this so uh, so this is a kind of mistake it's not ccw it should be cw there anyways so this is possible like this but for the other hand the tumbling movement is slightly different for for uh, the tumbling movement all of the flagella should work independently not all together like a bundle so here we can see three different flagella in this picture and three flagellas are working together and they are just just moving they are just moving via their own processes they are just rotating by a clockwise orientation clockwise rotation due to this clockwise rotation they are moving and migrating as a result of that the bacteria is moving from one place to another place right so this tumbling movement is also very very important because in many cases the bacteria uh, usually need to go for bundling and sometimes they need to have this tumbling movement to rotate from one place to another place all the time so that's why both of these movements are equally important for different orientation for orientation bacteria usually rely on tumbling uh, for maintaining the balance in a particular solution or liquid environment for that but for actual movement directed movement due to chemotaxis due to the presence of their food sources they will migrate via bundling movement right so that's it for peritricus flagella now for the other hand if you look at the polar flagellar movement or polar flagellar rotation it is can be it can be divided into two types reversible flagella and unidirectional flagella because unidirectional flagella can only help a bacteria to move at a particular direction only it cannot help the bacteria to go for different opposite direction on the other hand reversible flagella can help a bacteria to migrate to opposite orientation right for example you can see here for the unidirectional flagella only rotation possible is clockwise and due to the clockwise rotation if if the bacteria is in this horizontal plane due to the clockwise rotation of flagella it can migrate to left to right hand side it then the cells need to stop and then need to reorient its body into the kind of vertically and then again clockwise rotation of flagella and then the bacteria will move from bottom to the top so this is one kind of unidirectional flagella movement for the reversible flagella movement again this is kind of clockwise and clo anti clockwise both of them are coming together so if you look at here in this case the rotation of flagella counter clockwise or anti clockwise due to this the bacteria is moving from left hand side to right hand side then it can also go back from right to left once the flagella start to rotate in clockwise orientation so anti clockwise going left to right 
clockwise right to left and this is the way of rotation using polar flagella like reversible flagella right so these are the different uh, types of rotation by flagella that are possible and i hope that's helpful guys thank you